Astronomers may have for the first time witnessed a sun-like star devouring a planet, shedding light on the fate that will befall Earth in about 4 billion years when our dying sun swells to engulf our world, a new study finds. By analyzing countless stars during various stages of their evolution, astronomers have discovered that as our sun and stars like it near the ends of their lives, they begin to exhaust their primary source of fuel, the hydrogen near their cores. This leads their cores to contract and their outer shells to expand and cool. During this red giant phase, these stars may billow out anywhere from 100 to 1000 times their original diameter, swallowing closely orbiting planets. We know that this must happen to all planets that are orbiting at distances smaller than that of the Earth, but it was considered extremely challenging to provide experimental evidence for this, study lead author Kishaleda, an astrophysicist at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, in the new study, De and his colleagues made their breakthrough after examining a burst of radiation dubbed ZTFSLR in 2020, which took place in 2020 in the Milky Way's disk about 12,000 light years away, near the constellation Aquila. During the event, a star brightened by a factor of 100 over the course of a week. Based on the nature of the outburst, the astronomers estimated the event released hydrogen equal to about 33 times the Earth's mass, as well as about 0.33 Earth masses of dust. From this, they suggest the progenitor star was about 0.8 to 1.5 times the mass of our Sun and the engulfed planet was about 1 to 10 times the mass of Jupiter. Earth is expected to meet a similar fate when the Sun becomes a red giant in about 5 billion years. Scientists have known for years that one day, the Sun will expand into a red giant and engulf its closest planets. Engulfing large planets, defined as 10 or more times the size of Jupiter, can trigger the star into shedding its envelope and increasing its brightness by several orders of magnitude for several thousands of years, the new study claims. The study was conducted using a method called hydrodynamical simulations and provides a glimpse into the possible future scenarios of our own solar system's evolution. Because of the size of red giant stars, the researchers had to model only a small section of the boundary where the stars meet the planets to gain in-depth insights into the interactions. Evolved stars can be hundreds or even thousands of times larger than their planets, and this disparity of scales makes it difficult to perform simulations that accurately model the physical processes occurring at each scale. In our solar system, the closest planets to the Sun, Mercury and Venus, are expected to get swallowed by the growing Sun entirely. Earth, while it may survive, will be so scorched that it will become completely uninhabitable. Some of the more distant and currently freezing cold bodies, such as Jupiter, Saturn and their moons, may develop more life-friendly conditions in the vicinity of the blown-up Sun. While only a few planets that have likely survived a red giant engulfment have been observed so far, researchers believe that further studies of exoplanets will lead to more such discoveries.